Tonight we're learning new details about this suburban man accused of storming the U.S. Capitol during the 2021 insurrection. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live outside the Dirksen Federal Courthouse with a man faced a judge today. Charlie? And Joe, good evening. That Huffman Estates man faced a federal judge this afternoon and an evidence laid out in that court hearing. It showed that man in at least 20 different photos from inside the Capitol on January 6, 2021. And in the nearly two years since the insurrection, nearly 900 people have been arrested. This is just one of the videos that allegedly shows Ting Jing Yang on the U.S. Capitol grounds January 6, 2021. But the Department of Justice says Yang, circled in red, wearing the aqua surgical mask, red Trump hat, khaki pants, and dark coat, made his way inside the Capitol and into the famous rotunda where he stopped to take selfies and was unintentionally recorded by other rioters. Federal charging documents say while officers were clearing the rotunda, the 60-year-old Hoffman Estates resident resisted law enforcement officers and grabbed hold of a police baton while an officer was using it to push back against other rioters. Along with selfies and a catalog of pictures he was captured in, it was also Yang's cell phone, email address, and hotel booking information that ultimately led investigators to Yang. We stopped by his Hoffman Estates home. Nobody came to the door, but with Yang's arrest, he is now at least the 30th person from Illinois to be charged in connection to the January 6th riot at the Capitol. And during that hearing, a judge released Yang on $10,000 bond. This case now moves to a federal court in D.C., where these charges were filed. We are live tonight from the Dirksen Federal Building. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Joe? Charlie, thanks.